new bill proposed in the Senate is once again making the case for a universal basic income and asking for more study. It raises the question of whether Canada can ever afford such a program. Yves Giroux is Canada's parliamentary budget officer. Thanks for being with us, Yves. My pleasure. And the PBO has looked at this question in the past, so let's start there. Can we afford uh, this concept? Well, it's uh, all a matter of choice. We estimate the cost based on the uh, parameters of the Ontario Guaranteed Basic Income Pilot Project that was implemented and tried in 2018. We estimate the cost to be between 45 and $90 billion per year. So can we afford it? I think the answer is pretty much in, in the numbers I, I gave you. It depends uh, how much people want to have a guaranteed basic income. We keep revisiting this concept, Eve, and there's a number of reasons for that. But I think most people who look at it uh, assume that it would replace other programs. In other words, that we would do away with some other expenditures and replace this with a better, simpler system. Does that make sense? Uh, it totally does make sense. In fact, the estimate that we have provided take into account on the one hand the gross costs and on the other hand we also include the net costs. That is, if you eliminate a series of programs and tax credits, notably social assistance, which would be replaced by a guaranteed basic income, but also a series of tax credits such as the GST credit, or the working income tax benefit, which has changed name recently. So there's a bunch of provincial and federal tax credits that would be replaced or could be replaced to partially offset the cost of a guaranteed basic income. I mean, the, obviously the idea here are, is to lift people out of poverty to kind of set a new standard so that there's an assumption that people have enough to live. Uh, expensive, of course. There are other long-term benefits, and I'm sure they're hard to cost, but has anybody ever, is it possible to even look at the benefits from a health point of view, uh, a long-term public safety point of view? There would be uh, multiple different places you could point to to say, if you change the course of people's lives, there's savings later in a variety of ways. Yeah, that's, that's a good point, and that's very difficult to estimate because it requires anybody who, who would try to estimate these benefits to make assumptions as to how the behavior of those receiving the guaranteed basic income, how their behavior will change. For example, will they be able to better afford some medicine, some drugs, or some treatments, or will they be uh, able to afford better housing, which will help improve their physical and mental conditions. And that requires what I would call heroic assumptions as to what behavior changes that would imply. One of the things, of course, that makes uh, the research the PBO does so important uh, is it helps to understand the cost benefit of things. Things do, as you say, there are choices to be made. There are some big ticket things that may be headed our way, including things like pharmacare.